Yo, yo, yo. What is up? How's it going? Eric East, what's up, man? First time I've seen you message in here. Trying to learn Houdini. Too crazy. That's cool. Just closing some stuff here. I am actually going to um, do a little sidetrack thing going on here. Ah, uh, hey, game art. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to just work on uh, the new Baker tool inside of Moto. Uh, and um, what was the other thing I was going to do? Oh, I was going to experiment with uh, and kind of show how trims work, like trim normals and stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward, and it's not actually as exciting as you would hope. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Ricky. And Ben's not here. That's that's fine. Quilly Willy is, though. Can I bake a fire hydrant? I'd have to make one first. What's up, 4D? How you doing? Hi, Raz. Hi, Advisable. Willie! How you guys doing? What's what's uh what's good? Where's my There we go. I was like where's my moto? All right, let's get this boo dota get out of here, Quilly. I like these colors on the uh, axis. Mao Dao. Uh, oh, Aquili. So I don't know if you know about this. And I know this was really bugging you. So uh, if you use a curve, right, like this, let's, uh, we'll do some twisting and stuff and then you go to your uh, your mesh ops there's a lace geometry you can just apply that to uh, oops, you have to have a new mesh container so lace and then guide curve add curve and then actually we need to name this curve curse curve there you go and then we'll go back to this guy Add guide curve, and then you have the basically what you have with um, which we call it, like in Max. Oops. Yeah, item properties. Yeah. I think it's you have to select this guy, and I'm like, where the hell is? Where is the things? Tool properties? Oh, that's going to bug me. There we go. Took me a second. Uh, so this, like, item properties here. So you can change, like, side amount. You can change the shape or give it a custom profile and then, like, radius. And then if you go back into the curve, you can like grab the, the points, which kind of look like verts, and just move them around. So that's kind of cool. Uh, as far as twists, let me see here. Start in guide pattern. 
Doesn't look like there's a twist. Oh, wow, you can give it... Interesting. No idea how that works. Interesting. Anyways, you can give it all, all types of shapes. The reason this um, was created initially was for shoelaces. And, uh, yeah. The other nice thing is, uh, like, if I do circle, if you look at the UVs, it's being unwrapped for you. So it's very, very similar to Max, which is really good. You can grab points and rotate. What, really? No. Nah, man. Pattern size. Start and shape angle. Aspect ratio. What is what? That's weird. Uh, one other thing to know too is like if you say take the uh, spline and dupe it off, like this. So they're in the same mesh container. Uh, but this one you see is not uh, mapping. You actually have to go in. This is kind of the annoying part. You have to go in and uh, if you duplicate the. Oh, what's what is happening? Let me make sure I'm not okay. So you have to uh, duplicate this, and then you have another one. And then in the lace mesh, you just tell it to guide curve ID and you say, look at the second one. So it's, it's identifying these as like two separate curves inside of a single curve. But it kind of requires some, some finagling. But, I mean, it's not that bad. Did you see the new baking stuff in uh, 11, uh, Ben? Yeah, curves are actually probably one of the weaker things, I think, uh, in, in uh, Moto, but uh, they're getting better. So let's hide all these. So if you want to keep your camera and your directional light in here, you can actually filter and then uh, turn your is it light and cameras. You can just turn those off and you won't see them anymore. You haven't upgraded yet? Okay, cool. Well, so um, yeah, we haven't upgraded yet either. But uh, so let's look at these guys, right? They have UVs, of course. Let's, um, let's not even... Let's not even fix those. We'll just we'll just run this as it is. So if you select this guy, you've got the mesh container, and you right click. There's a bake option right here. You got ambient occlusion, illumination, normals, displacement, and texture channels. Vertex shading, vertex shader baking, curvature baking through the vertices, and then I don't even know what this one is. Bake to Almbic, Almbic. Anyways, you can click occlusion. And then you can tell it to use a current UV set. If you uncheck that, it'll do like an auto unwrap. And you give it sample count, texture resolution. Frames in the stream are gonna drop right now. Just give it a second. There you go. Mm. A little bit of a uh, Little seam image going on there, but that's pretty, pretty small. When he says Ben, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm talking to Quilly Willy Ben. Tamaliki, thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, Polygon Pusher, thanks for the ten dollars, dude. I wasn't even streaming when you gave me that. You crazy. 
an advisable Robin. Thanks for the, uh, whoa. I'm like, what is that? Thanks for the, uh, the sub. Yeah, pretty cool though. I really like the, uh, did I save the, the book? Ah, I did. So this is the one we did uh, on Friday. In case uh, we needed to go back to it, I ended up saving it. Yeah, Abel, that's Pierre. He, he says in the thing, it says, Pierre uh, on the Discord here, thanks for all the work, the platform, and the continuous push forward. And then higher on the 3D journey. Marky Marks, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, Kunal, what's up, man? The edges in the height map look warped on the 3D model, but the height map is straight. Is this is this normal? What do you what? Savron, what's up? Dude, I don't know a, a thing about particles. <laughs> okay, so what we were actually going to look at today, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do, be doing some tests as well as working on some trim textures. So just as like a initial, oops. Oh, I can just mesh plane. Oh, that's nice. Um, just as an initial pass, where I'm gonna set this up. So we we we'll, uh, we will assume that this is the square texture, right? So trim textures are essentially uh, splitting up this space. Let's say. Oh right, I've got a profile selected. Okay, so we've got some some shapes here or some some sections. We can say that this one would be the top trim. This would be maybe like mid details and like this one would be I don't know some smaller smaller details but not as small as this little tiny one down here so some ways to model these out is to like uh, if you dupe this off you can bring this forward this song is I don't know about this that was pretty crazy this is my discovery weekly uh, so what I tend to do and I mean there's there's other ways of doing this now is uh, you can dupe off the plane and then segment these out and then it's just like I feel like this is gonna crash for some reason you can like uh, you know create the shapes you're you're looking to create for your trim pattern And then just for tidiness, I kill the sides. What are you guys comparing? What's going on? Uh, Marky Marks. Yeah, comparing Moto and ZBrush is kind of weird. Uh, I don't think it... You don't really compare the two. They do two different things, right? It also depends on how you're using them, I guess. So let's, uh, I need to get a different material on this so I can see a little better what's going on. 
There we go. Pop this guy out and start forcing our normals. There we go. And then let's say that this piece, actually, there we go. Let's say this piece is like, let's go 50. We don't want any profiles. Let's um, let's split this up like six times, and then we'll inset these. We won't group them. Actually, before I do that, do this. Do I know how to make 2D patterns? I mean, sure. It depends, like, uh, I have, like, no experience with particles, so. 2D patterns, I mean, I've seen some really interesting stuff with using hexels to make patterns, to make 2D patterns. What the hell? Oh, look at that. That's hilarious. I don't even know how I ended up making those, but okay. We're just going to clean those up. So let's go ahead and grab these edges. Oh, are these separated? Is that why? Hang on. Oh, okay. We need to clean this up. Behaving. So I'm adding these bevels here. Keep refreshing the uh, normal crease. All right, let's do this now. Secret faces. A mesh cleanup that actually works? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Local. Let's make these taller as well. And we'll bring these in. Yeah, so I'm going to bake these down, or I'm going to try to. I'm going to see how, because I haven't used Moto's Baker very much. We'll see how it goes. I like this piece. I'm going to take that. All right, I gotta switch back to automatic. Just gonna remove these and I'll rebevel this.
Oh, actually. So what I'm trying to do as well is make sure that this uh, this area that I'm building is going to tile. So you'll see me add these like center lines every once in a while. And that's just me. I'm going to be snapping to points that are useful to me to keep it centered as well as framing it within the, the space that I'm interested in framing it in. So I'm not liking the bring these in like that. All right, so this is centered on this edge here. So we just need to make sure that these terminate into the surface. Oops. I always forget what the hotkey is for this, but. Uh, Where's that edge? I'm gonna snap by edge. There we go. What is going on? Hang on. There we go. It's a little better. And then what? We need four, five of those. Oh, we need one more. F. Anyways, I'll just do that. And then I will dupe this one one more time. I'll snap it to the center there. What's their viewport AO like? Uh, the new one is uh, better. I wouldn't say that it's at the same level as um, Maya's 2.0 yet, but let's see here. Uh, advisable, I'm going to try and bake this down. We'll see. What is going on here? Okay. Frame rate's still okay. We're in advanced now, so let's go into the advanced viewport options, which is this guy. Oh, come on. No? You don't want me to click that? Okay. Show shadows. I'm not seeing any. I'm seeing frame rate problems on the stream, not on, on my computer. Oh, it might be because I'm hiding these. No, those are just that's just visibility. Use normal maps. Use pump maps. Lighting default enable. It doesn't look like I am seeing it. It might be a scale thing too. Huh. Back to default. All right, that's cool. Advanced. Oh, it might also be because I'm not in the. Let me see here. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is some some of the settings based on scale. Like, let me see here. What's 
going on. So we're looking at, like when you zoom in and out, oh, you probably can't see it because of my UI, but below my, uh, I'll do this. So right here, you can see that uh, you're getting scale. So for every time the grid shows a quad, that's the measurement of that quad. So like, so we're looking at, that's a meter. So this thing's like, what, a meter wide? It's pretty, it's pretty small right now. But yeah, this is, uh, I'm not seeing anything happening, which could be a number of things, but I'll worry about that later. We're, we're no, no rush for that stuff. Viewport, viewport AO is, is nice when you're trying to see shapes and stuff, but uh, most of the time, like with uh, the engine that I will work in, what the hell? The, most of the time, the engine I work with, I don't need to... It's so fast to get it in the engine that it just doesn't matter. I can check it in the game or whatever. Okay, so let's look at... Let's look at these guys in their own container. I need, I need to go back into Zen. Oh, Zen's got the uh, advance in there too. You broke Moto, dude. My god. Huh. I should probably save this. <laughs> I'm just saving it in some like random folder. Is that caffeine? No. It may be equivalent to four coffees, but uh, no. So let's, uh, we take this guy and we'll separate him off into another mesh container and delete these extras. Uh, in this mesh container, we're going to make one called um, Bevel. And in that shader, whoops, item properties, we're going to go in and toggle on round edge and do some checks real fast, see what's going down. Oh wow! Yeah, there's weird, there's weird shit going on in this. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna restart Moto. <laughs> there's some weird shit going on. Just uh, bear with me. Hey, look, Moss. Uh, any scripts that you can find are pretty good, as far as I know. Uh, Seneca is really good. Whoa. All right, what is going on here? Oh, that's super weird. Oh, you know what it is, is I still have the bling shader on. Dumb. <laughs> okay, so now that we got this visible. Uh, so I use, um, well, I have some bot ones, but I use uh, Render Monkey is a good one. Uh, if you can pay for this one, the hatchet tools. Those are really good. We can go through those later if you want. Um, Etheria Swiss Knife is really nice. Um, then there's this crazy thing. Seneca's uh, Madness script list of madness. <laughs> it's got like everything I could ever imagine in it. And then if you hold down uh, Control and Shift, 
So if you're like, oh, I use this one all the time, hold down control shift, click it, and then you can assign a hotkey to it. So it's like active quick hotkeys. Game engine scripts. Yeah. Yeah, there's some there's some nice stuff in there. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in on this mesh. I don't know if this is eating the shit out of the stream. But uh yeah. So you can see all the meshes are just kind of terminating into each other, and I'm gonna see what the um, round edge does to it. So this kind of simulates uh, bevels where uh, where the geometry meets. So you can kind of melt everything together if you want, and kind of bevel all your edges without actually doing it. It just does it at render time. Uh, and then I think we want to. Over the roughness and turn the spec up so we can see what's going on. Is the stream running okay? Yes. <laughs> All right. We can't be previewing that madness then. All right, stream back. We basically can't be looking at that stuff. Anything render side is going to eat the CPU up, and then that eats the stream. I'll wait to hear if everything's all good. <laughs> I'm a subscriber? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how that works. I think that happened when uh, I got affiliate. It says I'm a tier three as well. Hopefully I don't take my money. <laughs> uh, stream should be okay now. If it is not okay for you, go ahead and do a refresh. Anyways, yeah, okay. I'll just keep going with this. So there we go. Okay, yeah. So I can't be doing the. Uh, I'm gonna need another computer if I want to be doing the those render previews. Oops. Actually, do that. So now this, in all of its detailed excitement, is uh, tileable, right? So if I put this, put this next to this, it should be seamless. Cool. Uh, what am I doing? I can just do that. So the idea is that you can just then map these pieces to your uh, to that quad, and then you bake that out. Uh, pyramid scheme. What are you talking about? Okay, so we got that piece. Oh yeah, I need to uh, hotkey. Where is it? Mesh edit. No, I didn't work at all. All right, let me save this and dupe this off.
No. Kind of works. Okay, where was that quick pool? There it is. Uh, pot key. There you go. Quick pool. Control, sh control shift B. Okay, let's close this guy up. bridge no that's cool all right cleaning this up even though I probably don't have to I'm a neat freak when it comes to this stuff sometimes all right oh I want these soft the angle is not working okay save Yeah, you can bake all that stuff in here, Mackenzie. How you doing, by the way? Dude, round edge shader is a must in production. If you're using Moto and you're baking inside of Moto, use it. It'll save you so much time. I mean, like, for example, if I needed these to be, like, one, like, I could Boolean those together but I don't need to do any bevels or anything because I can just like render this out with the bevel here. I would show you, but it's going to kill a stream frame, right? And yeah, you don't need a high poly to get those. Reddington, what's up, man? <laughs> you need some attention? You need some love? Did I miss a question from you or you're just like, uh, where are you at here? Chat's a little crazy tonight. 51 of you. How's it? How's everyone doing? Uh, Moto is like 500 crowns. I don't know where you're from. 500 crowns a month or $50 a month. I mean, if you buy a game a month, you could just, you know, not and then do that instead. Right? I don't know. I don't know. Reddington subbed? What the f- Dude, why? Why? Why doesn't it tell me? Why doesn't- Why doesn't it- There's no flashies. The sub! Money, 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 money. I need to get that freaking working. This bugs the crap out of me. It's not. Did it show? Does it show uh, anything? Does it show follows? Anything like that? Mother fuckers. Anyways, blow up chat for uh, this song is crazy. Blow up chat for Reddington, because that guy subbed, and he's like, for the Empire, all the way. I don't even know what this symbol would be. I'm like, trying to envision, like this, no? Like that? Like this one. Empire. <laughs> Oh, it did? Oh, I'm just not hearing it then. Oh, that's good. Thanks, man. I'm going to move. So chat's actually going to go to the side a little bit more so I can see that update. 
I'm not hearing it for some reason. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going here, dude. Thanks for the sub, though, man. That's that means a lot to me. This uh, I don't. This song, man. I don't know, man. It means so much to me that I didn't see you sub. <laughs> it's like <laughs> such a fail. I don't. I probably don't need these. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, my camera is backwards. Anyways, thanks. Thanks, Reddington. Uh, when Discord gets all set up and stuff, they're going to... Uh... Oh, Spunk! Thanks, dude. <laughs> is that... That's kind of how it happens, right? That's kind of how it is. Thanks, dude. Dude, the song. Dude, this is this is some weird slow shit. I don't know about. I don't know. I like uh, I like a fast one. A fast shit. That's right. I said it. For the Empire, dude. So cool. So cool. Oh, dude. I don't know if you guys have listened to Gil Matias before. This guy is. Mm. Yeah, this is actually. I wanna. I wanna listen to that other song. No. Where is it? This one. Night Owl. Super good. We should have a greedy Jeremy gif. Uh, Tobias, can you can you link that in chat? I can switch it. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're duping this this direction, as you can see. And we're going to uh, we're going to keep duping it until it looks until it looks good actually what I need to do is split this non-symmetry uniform so one two three four five, six one two three seven eight I'll do nines. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's let's try that. Dude, thanks for the uh, sub, guys. Too cool. Too fucking cool. Ah, what have I done? I'll just do that. There we go. Okay, then we'll grab uh, we'll grab those. We'll deselect that, and then that work. Yes. Yes. So remember what I was saying about uh, like if you bake, if we look at this from the front, this is like baking a normal, right? So normal is going to look at the trajectory in this angle. Uh, Axel, this is, so I may use this in the Uncharted scene, but, uh, what I'm doing right now is just kind of going through the motions of this stuff. Oh, is that it? Oh my God. That's it. All right. Well, let's, let's, uh, hang on here. So I'm just kind of going through the motions of what I want to do with this stuff. So like if I take these guys, uh, and I was going to say like, if you look at it directly on, this is like baking a normal. So you can see, remember when I was saying that like when you extrude something in, baking normals tend to not see a 90 degree angle. Uh, so you can see like these sides aren't visible to the normal bake. So that's like all information that's that's lost. So it's usually, it's it'd be beneficial maybe to like, uh, let's see if I can. So if you did something like that, it would then see the bake would see all of that detail. It would be it would see the sides and the bottom and all that stuff. 
I think I want to do that, but I want to do it a, maybe a little bit more subtle. Maybe 80%. Wait, what? There we go. Yeah. Preferably, you're going to do this before you do your cut, so you don't have to do this each time. But uh, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like before. Uh, after I do this, I will go and change the GIF. Oh, where are we at? There we go. No, that's not going to work. Son of a... This is why I'm always like, bevel everything, bevel, bevel, bevel. You guys getting killed by the clicking yet? Is it killer? There we go, that, that works for me. Pew, pew, pew. All right, more Gil Matias. Oh yeah, dude, this song's. That background sound is so good. Nothing is better than some sweet bevels. Okay, let me get the uh, the th thing before before I lose it. When you need to triangulate the sides, for why, for why Tobias. Ah, whoa, sick. Shadow Warrior 2. Okay. <laughs> We're used to our own clicks. Clickety, clickety. Clickety, clickety, clickety. All right, alert box. Oh man, this this gifts this gif is like super ego vibe. That's why I'm like hesitant about it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, can I not upload? Meh. Okay, I have to click. Okay, it's in there. Okay. There it is. It's uploading. Let's see if I can trigger it. Okay, well, <laughs> I think it's there, but we won't know until the next sub. <laughs> No pressure, right? Um, all right, let's 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 keep going on this. So we've got these details. I'm gonna delete that one. So we just have this guy. Cool, cool. So we got all these details. Oh yeah, you were talking about triangulating this, right? I mean, we can, I guess we can we can do that, right? There's not really a need to triangulate it.
<laughs> I just tried to open a tab in Dense PC and failed. Dude, someday. Someday. FKJ? Yeah, dude. Uh, well, there's another... Some other stuff that I was thinking of. Kill Paris is awesome. I believe he changed his username because uh, he he um, out of respect. Galaxies between us is super good. We're gonna listen to this. Okay, so see we got the bottom half of this trim sheet. You see just how the geometry is. That's tiling, right? It goes left to right. Now, normally with these trim sheet patterns, you probably don't want to go too crazy with the height and depth and stuff. Like this one might be, a, this bottom one might be a little intense. And the reason I say that is just because you would need to, uh, you need to support it with uh, geometry. And trim sheets, Preferably, you're not supporting it with Geo. You're just kind of you're just kind of uh, using the normal information from it to support the shapes that are that are there in the actual geometry. I'm trying to think what to do with this one. Able, <laughs> it's working. Welcome to the empire. <laughs> oh man, thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, that's it. It just looks so evil. <laughs> it looks so evil. Funding the army. Thanks, dude. Able. Here it comes, yes. Oh, uh, so good. What to do with this piece? Yes, worth it. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks a lot, man. So nice. What was I talking about when I, when I did that? Okay, let's... I'm going to brainstorm uh, some shapes on this action. These guys are going to go into their own container as well. It's probably one of my favorite things about uh, Moto is containers and copying and pasting. Ah, just the idea that you can copy, paste, and then just move. Copy, paste, cut, press N, new mesh container, paste. Now these are in two separate groups. Oh, so good. Yeah, I, I must have been talking about roughness. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe like a frame or something. Maybe out of uh, let's let's do this. I'm trying to think here. Oh. Uh. No? Okay. It's acting weird. Time to save. <laughs> Count. There we go. Okay. There's another thing that's in here that's kind of cool. Where is it? Is it... Perfect circle? Ho oh, ho! What? Yes! <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, I wonder if you can use uh, radial. So say I put it there, and then I moved. Oh yeah, it kind of works. Interesting. So these things are kind of cool. These are in uh, Moto as well. They're uh, they're these like modifier soft selection type weird things. I, I don't know how else to describe them. There's a term for them. I always forget what they're called. Tell me. Oh, it was going to tell me. Patience. Fall offs. So let me cut this again and we'll do that number. So there's a center. And then if we do a radial off the center. Four, and then we need to make x minus four. So now that's that. Do you select these? Oops. Oops. Damn it. Oh man, I'm doing this in a really weird way. Okay, so let's try that again. I never use these. What the hell? Ah, dude, that's so weird. So I can't like uh, select the radial. Oh, I am I doing? Hang on. Ah. Oh man, that's nice. Whatever that hotkey is. This one's Oh, that's interesting. Okay, hang on. Now I have to now I have to investigate. Control A. Huh. I'm reading chat all of a sudden. Hang on here. Can you copy and paste and have a new paste selected and not everything else except it? Uh, yeah, that's in the options. You can just uh, tell it what to have selected and what not to have selected. Like if you copy and then uh, paste and I hit the move key, it should move my new pasted version. Um, I know on some computers people have complained that it's not doing that and that's because they're in their settings it's saying the other way, other way around. Kanam, what's up? Uh, I am working on some trim sheet stuff so we can experiment with things. Right now I'm working on a shape detail for this stuff. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time trying to be fancy with this modeling. What I should do is grab all these except for this one. Oh, I can't wait to get my mic stand. I have to like look around my mic sometimes to look at the keyboard. Brutal. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a cylinder. It's A15 already, guys. It's about time to look at your guys' stuff. Well, it's about time like five minutes ago. I apologize. Oop. Now, because we're baking this, I mean, I don't even have to make... This doesn't have to actually be welded together or anything, so I'm just going to ignore that.
So my idea is you take these pieces. And then we can dupe them up and around and make frames that are kind of like disjointed. Maybe we make one down here that's shorter. And then we can do things like uh, just cut this. And inset this. I'll have to do some other framing and stuff, but you get the idea. So you build some framework around that stuff, and we'll be good. Hey, what's up, Knock? Dude, you missed the uh, the goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to get this uh, closed up, and I'm going to look at your guys' stuff. If you're new here, you can go to uh, the Discord that I just linked. And you can post art in uh, art related channel and I can get to your stuff. Unfortunately, because right right now is when I do the cutoff, I do the cutoff for posting new stuff as I get the new stream up. So, But Friday, we do this again. Uh, Friday, also, we're going to be doing two more portfolios. Yeah. All right. Be right back.